Okay, so in this video we need to take a look at speed, distance, time calculations. You guys have done speed, distance, time calculations before, but you've always done them with uh, kilometres and hours and kilometres per hour. But uh, for the next couple of weeks, we're sailors, we're pirates, we're people who hang out on boats, so we have to talk in nautical miles and we have to talk in knots. Now, last time we did speed, distance, time calculations, you learnt about this handy triangle, and we used it quite a bit. Um, so speed, distance, and time. So if you know two of those things, you can find the other one. Now this triangle represents three formulas, and hopefully you remember those three formulas. If you want to find out what speed is, you can say that speed equals distance over time. If you want to know what distance is, you can say that distance equals speed times time. And finally, if you want to find out what time is, you can say that time equals distance over speed. And that's really all there is to it. As long as we remember the triangle and we know how to do it, speed equals distance over time, uh, time equals distance over speed, and distance equals speed times time, we can do all the maths that we really want to do here. Okay, so let's do some um, pirate maths. So here's our first question here. A boat goes 15 nautical miles in three hours. Find its speed. Now, because we're pirates here, remember that we're talking about speed in knots, which you should also remember is nautical miles per hour. Uh, so this, this question is going to be pretty straightforward. We're trying to find speed, so we know that speed is equal to distance over time. Speed is equal to distance over time. We know that the distance that this thing travels is 15 nautical miles. And we know that the time it takes is 3 hours. Now if you type that into your calculator, you're going to get an answer of 5. And that 5 is 5, uh, it's speed, and speed is measured in knots. Uh, so that's that's really it for that kind of question. Of course, they do get a little more complicated because sometimes people don't don't play nicely with this stuff. Okay, so here's our second question here. Uh, a boat goes 20 kilometres at a speed of eight knots. Find the time taken. Uh, now this question's a little bit confusing here because um, one guy is talking like a regular person. Boat goes 20 kilometres. But then he starts talking like a sailor and starts talking in knots. Now, uh, we're going to have to do a conversion here. So uh, we're going to have to take that 20 kilometres and first convert it to nautical miles. Because remember, knots is nautical miles per hour. We can't, we can't work with these things because they're in different units. One's kilometres, like a normal person, and one's knots, like a sailor. Uh, so first of all, we need to make the conversion from kilometres to nautical miles. Okay, so um, nautical miles, whoops, nautical miles equals uh, 20 divided by 1.852. Uh, you'll remember that from a uh, previous video. Okay, and we'll get uh, 10.80 nautical miles. Okay, so now we, this question makes more sense. The boat doesn't go 20 kilometres, it goes 10.8 10 nautical miles. Now we can work with this because this guy's talking like a sailor here, 10.8 nautical miles, and then he's also talking like a sailor here, 8 knots. Um, now, we're trying to find the time taken. So, T equals, T equals distance over speed. Now in this question, distance is 10.8 and speed is 8. Now if we type that into our calculator, we should know how long it took. Okay, so that's going to come out to 1.35 hours. Now if you really want to be pedantic about that, uh, you, this answer is probably good enough. Uh, but this 0.35 hours, people don't really talk in 0.35 hours. They talk in um, 
hours and minutes. So that's going to be equal to one hour. And then that 0.35, if I do 0.35 times 60 on my calculator, that'll give me 21 minutes. Okay, so if we finish up there, we can see that if a boat goes 20 kilometres at a speed of 8 knots, it's really going 10.8 nautical miles at 8 knots. Time equals distance over speed. 10.8 over 8 gives us 1.35 hours, 1 hour and 21 minutes. So really just a couple of things to keep in mind here. One, speed, distance, time calculations. You can use your handy triangle here to figure out your three formulas. And then always make sure that if, if you're doing a speed, distance, time calculation, that either everything is talking like a regular person, kilometres, kilometres per hour, or everyone's talking like a pirate, nautical miles, per, uh, nautical miles and knots. Uh, they have to be in both in those same thing before you can start working with them. Okay, uh, that's speed distance time calculations.